Let's take a closer look at Audi's preparations for the Dakar Rally 2024. Audi sticks with their proven RSQ e-tron concept and fine tunes it. If you want to know more about the details of Audi's Dakar contender, check out my other videos below. In the last two years, Audi had two main problems, tires and dampers. The new and innovative drivetrain never caused any main issues. But the Audis had a lot of tire failures and damper slash suspension failures. Audi now focused on reducing these issues by choosing a much softer setup for the e-tron, which is now using more damper travel. That way the car puts less stress on the tires and gives the passengers more comfort at the same time. Very important in rally rate, so they can stay concentrated for longer. But also the car itself changed a bit. It has 15 kW more now and an optimized torque management to bring the power on the track. The brake calipers are redesigned for a larger gap between them and the rims. Previously stones got trapped in here and damaged the rims. The crash box can take 4 times more energy and is lighter. The bonnet has updated ducts to make sure less dirt reaches the windows. Audi removed the large side skirts of the first version and manages dirt with these ducts. They also redesigned the sills and finally removed the mud flaps. Last year, they still kept a small wing to hold a mud flap. And Audi spare wheel covers are her own little story. The first RSQ e-tron had designer covers, but they were large panels and hard to put on, too heavy and complicated. And since Audi needed to change wheels very often, they cost them a lot of time. So for 2023, they heavily simplified this area, now using a much smaller cover with only one clip instead of four. There's one small improvement now. The pin that holds the cover now has two instead of one hole, so it's easier to put the spare wheel back on in case wheels are damaged or dirty. Remember that teams are not allowed to simply leave wheels or parts of the car in the desert. The rear cover is slightly reshaped and the rear end is heavily simplified as well. The unnecessary air ducts behind the fans are gone and the rear bumper sits lower to make space for the lower cooling flow. The smaller rear panel saves weight and helps aerodynamics. So in general we can say that Audi optimized their car in a lot of little details. Main priority had their two main issues, tires and dampers, but they also found a bit more power and saved some weight. So the team is using their experience of the previous two Dakars and will be a strong contender. What do you think? Can Audi fight for the win until the end of the Dakar 2024? Let me know in the comments below and see you at the next video.